Hi, good day. I'm David. I'm from Liberty Caravans, and today I'm going to show you a bit more about our LC2 model. Um, for more details, you can see you have a look at the LC4 model video, but this is the two two sleeper. So on the outside, I can show you mainly the main differences are just the kitchen area. So this is the same as on the the other unit, except that this one hasn't got a window here. It's got the shower at the back, so you've got more packing space here for your kitchen area. So on the inside you will see from the basin to the forward facing is everything's the same on the two sleeper and the four sleeper. It's just this one hasn't got the bunk beds at the back. It's actually got the proper bathroom at the back. You've got a built-in shower. You've got your it's up right up here. You have your hot and cold water. You've got the geyser in the front already. You've got your shower curtain. We don't put fiberglass trays in. This is aluminium, so this is not going to crack in time. The fiberglass is known for cracking, so we've bypassed that and just put all aluminium in. So. And on this side, you can see this is a toilet. It's a proper cassette toilet. It's electric flush. So I'm just going to show you guys the awning that we fit. As I've said on the LC4 video, we use the Bundu awning. It's a three six, called a 360 degree awning. You'll see now it covers the front, the back, and the side. So we just take the one arm and you pull it and it does its own thing. And there you have it, standing. And what's, what's it like in wind? It's fairly stable. Uh, it does come with straps. It has this little strap, so if the wind does pick up and the wind becomes too much, you can just strap it down. And we have poles for them as well. And the side awnings are, sta are optional for them. So for our construction in all our caravans, um, we've got a glass fiber skin with aluminum framework, which is a, it's a laminated panel with glass fiber on both sides and uh, our chassis are galvanized chassis and uh, it's for off-road use caravans we've got a proper suspension proper running gear the chassis is all rated for for tough stuff so it will it will go the extra mile and there's there's no wood in the floor the roofs the walls nowhere the only place that's wood is in a few of the cupboard doors inside so water is quite safe inside these units we run a two and a half ton axle braked axle on them so um, we rather wanted to, we didn't want to skimp on that and we went a bit overboard with the axle and we've also got large 16 inch tires on them and they've also got a quite a good rating of load capacity on them. So with caravan tires actually um, it makes a difference in the load capacity of the tires that comes down to the side wall thickness and the strength of the tire itself so if you're going to go off the beaten track you don't want something that's quite soft and something that's going to give you problems along the way um, you need something that can carry the weight and something that can take a punch while it's carrying that weight so we've gone gone for stronger options on that just to make the customer more at ease <laughs> 